Oh boy. I tell you. All right. Welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Sergeant Badass, and today I am going to be doing another SHTF box unboxing. I have no idea how this started. Once again, I, they just started showing up one day, and now I like to poke fun at them or see if there's anything <laughs> of any value inside these things. Let me pull you over here. Okay, it is a monthly subscription box. I do know that, and I do have the link, and I'll put it below if you want to check it out. Um, Sippy got me the Christmas stocking, the tactical Christmas stocking. I never had one before and I always wanted one and they were doing this little sale on them and she got me that for Christmas. And I, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And like I said, I have no idea how these started showing up here. They just did. And, um, uh, whoever is doing this, thank you. I appreciate it. And <laughs> but I always like going through these things. I think people just get a kick out of me doing these things. Just to make little jokes along the way. Alright. There's that. Let's see what we got in here this month. Alright. <laughs> I always have to start laughing around the way. Sorry. So I'm trying to keep my bearing. Alright. You get you get paper to wrap gifts with. Alright, so here we go. Uh right off the bat. Where do I start? Where do I start? Okay. Uh there's there's this uh twenty in one multi keychain tool whatever this thing is all right that is okay that's actually pretty cool i just i mean it's just cool it looks cool i, I don't use a lot of these things but if i wanted something else to hang off of my keychain so you have some sort of file you have a file here and this rotates and it looks like you have some sort of wire cutter okay I see how that works now so that is some sort of wire cutter cutter tool there's no instructions I, I, I promise you look there's nothing see so I have to like use my imagination and try to figure out what each little item is for but you have a little wrench there and you have a pry bar and uh, this is some sort of something I don't know measuring device and you have different tips here but it looks like you would shove this in here and you could strip wires with that. So pretty interesting. But that's all that is. And like I said, it's got that file on the back side there. Okay. Sure. I love the fact they don't put a card in here. So I will never know how much anything costs. And then they put random pictures of stuff. I think it's like this, but it's actually paracord chainsaw. Is that right? Hey, it's a paracord chainsaw. What do we got? Trash everywhere. This is kind of cool. Hey, look at that. You know, there's some folks out there that only take this with them. And I had a camping trip one time. Actually, not a camping trip. It's more like a crazy hiking adventure that I did one time. Where uh, I used this the entire time. And it made sh a, a real short work of gathering up firewood but this one comes with some very nice paracord and it feels real and from the melt on there i think it actually is real paracord that's amazing is it real it's real paracord all right what's this thing oh look at that i'm a big fan of emergency candles and we have the uco that's right that okay now this is cool so this kit here someone's going to ask me how much this thing costs it's like 50 50 oh no no it's not 50 it's 49 bucks that's right this is the one that's 49 bucks i, I was looking this up uh earlier and just out of curiosity there's your hanger so you get a hanger what else you get in here you get what is this instructions on how this ridiculous thing works and who needs instructions right who needs this? We, we don't need this stuff so this this pulls up just like that and there's your candle right and i'm assuming to light said candle you just do this look i ain't dumb i can figure this stuff out take this off look at that spring stuff falls everywhere and there's your candle you put your candle back in place put this back in there 
that there. Put this back on. Okay, so the candle's cool. I always wanted one of the candles, and it happens to be the um, the UCO. And uh, not only is it UCO, but it's also marked with their with their specific logo, letting folks know that it came from that kit. And this just goes under here, and just like that. And now you have you have three replacement candles, and it's nine hours each, right? There we go, nine hours, nine hours of light and it comes with a little baggie to put that stuff in i always like it when i see a box like this i know something crazy is in here and it's probably going to make me laugh <laughs> here we go all right what's this goofy thing all right oh man that is just too much <laughs> let me tell you this is it oh here let me zoom in this is extreme right here <laughs> Woo! Boy, I am going to survive the fight with this bad boy. Let me tell you. All right, so it looks like it's a Cree. It is a Cree. It is adjustable. Has a clip here. <laughs> yeah, you do a review about this thing. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> There's no batteries, so obviously I've got to go get a battery now. Yay. Okay, so I'm just going to put the world's crappiest, cheapest battery in this thing and see what happens. Let's just take a double A. So that's good. It's just a double A. It's cool for some folks out there. I'm sure somebody wants this exact color with a red button on it. There's no... Oh, it does have strobe. Okay, so it's just every other click. There's your zoom. It's just simple, basic flashlight. You can give your kids or something like that, right? Make a gift for someone. The Yellow Jacket Pocket Knife Extreme. All right. The yellow. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I got a little overwhelmed. All right. So it has this uh, uh, m giant chrome metal bar. And it does slide lock. Pretty basic. You've got... Some sort of glass breaker down here at the bottom, connected in there all willy-nilly. It's kind of wiggly, like it's going to come out. And you have a bottle cap opener, so it's... All right, look, I'll give you a close-up. Somebody out there is going to be like, man, I wanted to see it, you know. But anyways, it's pretty cool. It's all right. It works. It's nice. It's one of those things. It's one of those things, right, where you're like, yeah, okay, it's nice. What is this? What is this? I always like it when they pack something like this. I know it's something crazy. They, they put the bug out because they have like this whole section of stuff that's just bug out. And when they mark it, it's usually something cool. So, but I don't know what it is. Usually it's something cool. They put bug out. And it's binoculars, obviously. There we go. But usually when it's marked, don't eat this stuff. All right. There's, yep. It's just a monocular. Pretty cool, just normal monocular. See, I'm putting together my son's little. Uh, I'm doing. Uh, I've got a series coming up and a series of videos coming up, and one of those things in the series is. Um, uh, it's it's going to be a type of bag. I can't, I don't want to give it away because then if I give it away, then uh, I don't want people to know. But it's it's not called a bug out bag. But you're going to like it. It's going to be really cool. I'm building some kits. And I bet you this did not cost $25. Because like other companies out there, they lie about how much their stuff cost. And I love the fact that they didn't lie about it. So you get a watch cap. And that's actually a really cool watch cap. And it's thick. And I don't need anybody telling me it's a $25 watch cap. We all know this is like a $4 watch cap, right? So you get the point. Uh, but you got a nice patch on the front. And... Uh, here we go. This is one shot, one kill, field knife, raw. Ooh. All right. Uh-oh. Got something I actually like in the kit. Well, I like some other things, but this I definitely like. Why is it that I like this so much? This is cool. This is a pretty decent. This is one of their knockoffs 
of some other knives out there. They've been doing a lot of uh, knockoffs of, of other companies' knives. And it says down the side, one shot, one kill. It was well, just a bushcrafter knife. It's a real simple knife. It's just a bushcrafter. And you've got a section here you can use with a ferro rod or whatever. I wouldn't go trying to break glass with that. It's probably not going to happen. But um, it's got a nice nice feel to it. It is in coyote and black, so it will match with a lot of items. And it's just a cool little plastic sheet that goes with. Nothing fancy to it at all, but that's actually really cool. I dig that. See, every now and then I get something cool like, like the watch cap. I'm probably going to wear that around town and be a weirdo. This is definitely going in a kit. Uh, my son's going to get this stuff, obviously. But I put some of this stuff to the side just so I can put together my, my kids' kits uh, for, for themselves, like recreational purposes when we go camping and stuff. But anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed it. You're watching SOS. I'm Stassar and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. God bless. Take care.